So we've managed to migrate over to Adobe's new agreement type, VIP Marketplace. What do we do now if we wanna change how many licenses we have? We wanna buy new licenses or renew licenses or add new products to our agreement. Well, let's talk about that now. First, let's talk about editing the quantity of licenses we have of our existing products. Let's say you're logging back into your Software One Marketplace and you wanna manage your subscriptions. So we would arrive on the home screen, click subscriptions, find the Adobe agreement that we're looking to manage, and I'm clicking that agreement. Now that we've specified to the system the agreement that we wanna work within, we can click buy more. And you'll be brought to that purchase wizard again. So here you can see all of the existing subscriptions under that agreement. In this case, we've got a quantity of 12 for Creative Cloud All Apps and 50 licenses for Acrobat Pro for Teams. Now, let's say we just hired a couple more people that all need Acrobat. So what we do is go into the quantity field for Acrobat and change it to the amount that we need. Let's say 52. And just like we did when we were migrating, this process, this order that we're making, will give us the opportunity to put in some identifiers. So again, order ID or notes. These are optional. You don't have to put anything here, but if you ever want to reference something, this is a great place to put it. We can click next. All right, so now we review the order. And in this case, we're only adding two licenses for Acrobat. So under Creative Cloud, you can see it's displaying the unit sales price, but it's not showing any change to the sales price per month or year. Whereas on line two, Acrobat Pro for teams that we're adding licenses to, there's a two above the total quantity of 52, as well as the unit price. But then this next column, sales price per month, this is showing that it's gonna be $43.19 per month to add these new users. Now, how are you actually gonna get billed for this? Well, like I said in the previous video, you're gonna receive a consolidated invoice for any and all changes that you make over the course of a month. And that invoice is gonna be prorated to the day. So in this particular case, that invoice is gonna look something like how many months I have until my anniversary or my renewal times this sales price per month. Now, it'll be a little bit less actually because I'm eight days into the month, so they're not gonna charge me for the full month. They're gonna prorate it for those eight days. So once you place that order, you can then go into your Adobe portal and administer those licenses in about three to five minutes. Okay, the next scenario is how to add new products that we haven't bought before. So again, I'm gonna start over, go to the home screen here, click on subscriptions, choose the agreement I wanna purchase under. I'll click this one. And I can see under here, subscriptions, under this agreement, there's only Acrobat. So it's gonna be largely the same as when we were just adjusting the quantities. We're gonna go into the agreement page that we want to operate under and then click buy more. Now we bring up that purchase wizard again. And once we're here, you can see that we've got Acrobat Pro for Teams and I can adjust the quantities like I did in the previous example, but how do I add Creative Cloud? It's not here. Well, I go over to this button here, add items. Now, this is gonna give you access to every possible product that Adobe can sell you. So what we're gonna wanna do here is use the filter feature to find specifically what we're looking for. So I'm gonna click on filter, I'm gonna add a condition and say product item name contains Creative Cloud, let's see how that works. Okay, so we've managed to reduce it down to just SKUs that are Creative Cloud. If you have any questions about, or you're not completely sure about which of these to choose, reach out to your account manager and speak with them about which one's gonna be the right fit. But for each one, you can see the sales price. You can see the sales price broken down on a monthly basis, as well as a yearly basis. So pick the one that you think is gonna be most appropriate to you. I'm gonna choose All Apps for Teams, and I'm gonna click add items. And now it shows up as another line, just like when I was managing my subscriptions previously. So if I wanna buy more than one, I just change the quantity to however many I need. So in this case, I'll make it five. And then I'll click next. And the rest of the process is the same as the previous example I gave. You can put in some additional information on the order, order ID or notes, click next, confirm the quantities that you're adding, and click place order. And just like the previous example, you're gonna have access to those licenses within three to five minutes of clicking that place order button. We're pretty excited about how slick this process is, but it is a new process. So we totally understand if there's some growing pains here. If you have any hesitation or reservations about this process, 
Just get in touch with your account manager and they can walk you through this step by step. Thanks for watching another one of these videos. I hope it was informative, but there are a couple of more things I want to call out before we end this one. Previously, a company could make separate orders for, let's say, different departments or something like that, or different geographies, and they'd receive a separate invoice for each one. Because Adobe is consolidating the billing, they can no longer accommodate that sort of billing. But the good news is Software One is building this sort of functionality into our platform. So if you come into the Software One Marketplace platform, you can go in here and split the billing that way. Now, there's a process to this and it might be worth making a video on later, but it's also something that your account manager or your resources at Software One can help you with if you need to do that. I also wanna call out that we have a lot of other online resources available to you. Check out some of the links that I've put below and let us know if you have any requests for content in the future. We're really excited to be building this platform and we wanna get the word out about the most important features that we're building. So thanks again for watching. Make sure to stay tuned and take a look at some of the other content that we have out there. Mm -hmm.